<laughs> All right, there we are. We're live. <laughs> Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm just going to move my mic a little bit because I forgot to do that. Oh, yeah. Good time. Uh, all right, so welcome everybody to episode 157 of the Coscast. Oh my God. Ah! Um, today is a bit of a mixed episode, I suppose you could say. We're going to talk a little bit about Kawaii Con and uh, what else are we talking about? You are <laughs> celebrating your 31st birthday tomorrow. Yes. So we're doing a special birthday Coscast in your honor. <laughs> the first so. ever birthday Coscast. <laughs> we're going to have to do this for you guys too, you realize. Um, maybe. If, if, if not, it's going to be weird. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am as always your main host, Pixie Does Cosplay. And with me are my fellow co-hosts. Annabella Cosplay, a.k.a. Suniva Rosa. Yes. On Instagram. Yeah. And Tonya! Yeah! Yeah, Tonya! Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm Anita Pixie Dust on Instagram. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe they know. Yeah, they oh, probably oh, I know. I see uh, Frost Hames are saying that this channel's channel needs its own uh, emotes, and I agree. Yes. Yes, Thanks. I agree. But I don't know how to make our own emotes. If you know how to do it, d make it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Rirai is loving your makeup, Anita. And Thank you. And as well. Yes. I did a very, very casual uh, hawk uh, closet cosplay makeup look thing today for my Instagram. And I just figured I can't be bothered taking it off. No, it <laughs> so, looks nice. Yeah. I like it. Thank you. Okay. This wig has been through so much. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, Harry Potter, Juman. Yeah. yeah, you name it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> first time says, lol, no way. <laughs> She's not making our emotes. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna look into it when we have time. Yeah, whenever we have time. Maybe during the summer holiday or something. <laughs> oh, that's, not, that's not too far away, so no. maybe. Yeah. No, that's true. Uh, okay. So, uh, with a, uh, without any more ado, uh, let's go into our usual segments. So, the first one is, of course, cosplay progress. So, have we been working on anything cosplay related during the past few weeks? Nope. Uh, no, but I'm starting to <laughs> think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we have, as a collective group, thought about a particular group cosplay that we oh, might yeah. be doing in the future i don't know oh, if yeah. we're gonna are we going to reveal it or is it a secret for now we're gonna keep it a secret yeah. for now for and now. we're relieving it later when yeah. it's more you know tangible when we know yes. when it's going to happen and exactly we have... who we're gonna be yeah because <laughs> i'm doing research right now trying to figure out who i want to cosplay from this fandom mm. So that's going to be interesting. So stay mm -hmm. tuned for that. Frost <laughs> <laughs> name is calling you a tease. And a little bit. <laughs> Just a uh, little bit. Uh, sorry, I spent tons of money on a screen accurate Sabrina item. Oops. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I saw she posted. She bought a sweater. And, or a skirt or something. Yeah, she was looking at both. Yeah. Uh, and Ryurai said that I cosplayed Ruby Rose today and had a last moment need for a flower crown, so I made that on Monday. Oh, you're so productive. Ooh, that's nice. And Rick Makes Stuff says I've actually started on something this week. Got my Aliens Colonial Marine helmet kit. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Wow. And yeah. Hedessa Tai is working on a thing. Ooh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> is, it, is it related to what you posted on Instagram? earlier today mm -hmm. I saw a very beautiful belt that you posted earlier so it has a tie that is mm -hmm. and Frost Times says Sabrina yes also mm -hmm. I put on makeup yesterday does that count <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure sure why not, <laughs> why not? Uh, yeah so I haven't really made anything either except doing this very casual hawk look that's about as much as I've done cosplay wise. Oh, and I've edited photos from Kawaii Con because I had a few shoots. So uh, I'm almost done with the last set of shots of uh, 
is Selena Kyle as Catwoman. Ooh, I can't wait to see them. Yeah. I really, really like the photos you've done of HB costumes. And HK AB, and AB. HKs and AB costumes, yeah. Yeah. They are really, really good. So Thank if you want you. to take a look at those photos, both Pixie Dust has has posted them on Instagram and uh, the cosplayers. Yes. The photos. Yes. Yeah. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lucia Ferra says, and certain someone reminded me to do a makeup test for Arwen, and I kind of want to do it this week. Yes, do That's it. It's me. Certain someone is me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we talked about that on our Discord yes. today. So, uh, if you want to join the Discord, do. Yes. There's a link beneath uh, the video on Twitch. So, you can just uh, click that, and you'll find our Discord channel. Yes, and then I will be making you all pandorkables in the Discord. So yes. you will get a fancy pink color, I think. Awesome. <laughs> and Ranir have bought another Leku set from Etsy. Oh, That's you cool. did, did you? Mm -hmm. Have you have you started an addiction? Do we need to talk? <laughs> might, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We might need to do that. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for cosplay progress, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to cosplay news from the geek and cosplay community. So, it's a lot. yeah, Sunipa, you're the one who wrote up the news this week, so maybe you want to run through it. I found so many. Okay, first up, uh, we're gonna do this fast because I know for a fact it will be overcast today, so we're just gonna speed up this news process. Okay, first item we want to congratulate Spulv and Grim Cosplay with their engagements. Uh, Spulv yes. cosplay proposed to Grimm during the uh, goodbye. Yeah, the, uh, the ending show, the closing show at Kawaii Con. Yeah, so it was so magical. It Beautiful. was so awesome. And we just want to congratulate both of you. Yes. Also, uh, uh, there's two makeup brands. One is Urban Decay and one is uh, Colourpop Cosmetics. Cosmetics has revealed... Uh, uh, geeky makeup. So Colourpop Cosmetics has released a Disney villain makeup uh, line. Yeah, so I can check that it. out. It re looks really nice. It does. And uh, Urban Decay also has announced that they are doing a Game of Thrones makeup line, which will release when the season premiere uh, is um, aired. Yeah. Which is quite cool. I Maybe. want it, but I know I won't be able to afford any of it. I'm sad. I want yes. I want the color pop and I want the urban decay. <laughs> yes, same. <laughs> um <laughs> Lucia Ferris says, Oh my god, a stream is not safe for work. I see it, Tonya. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's here. Pat pat pat. Smut. Oh. Smut for your nerves. Smut, smut, smut. <laughs> Uh, CC Tori, the tears in my eyes at the ending show at Kavaikon. Yes. Yes. Oh, you. Uh, and Tusla Plop is saying, Vanji. Vanji. Oh. Oh, That's my oh, brother. Is it you? Oh, it is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's Runa. Vanji. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> he loves RuPaul's Drag Race. Him and Jeanette watch it together all the time. <laughs> uh, Jeanette wants the Colourpop ones. I agree. They mm. look so good. Uh, Lucia Ferro wants the makeup. Uh, Everyone wants it. So yeah, go check them out. I think we will post links uh, on our Facebook page. Yeah, they, they're already up on our Facebook page. So if you want to check out any of the things we talk about in the news section today, you can just visit our Facebook page and it will be at the top of the page. Yes. Also, Fredrikstad Sci-Fi Festival was held this weekend. Yes. Sadly, none of us went. No. Um, I wanted to, but yeah, me three conventions in a row just didn't work out for me this time sadly no nope. didn't have the energy didn't have the money for it i would have loved to go because it's a really nice convention and it seemed like everyone had fun once again and it's just a long way to travel and a lot of money to spend uh yeah. especially when you've had so many other conventions happen right uh, ahead of it yes. so maybe next year maybe next year uh, Virai says that uh, it was fun at sci-fi. That's good to hear. Mm. 
Um, also, the <laughs> Game of Thrones premiere is coming up soon. <laughs> I just saw a cosplay studio post in the chat first. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. 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 <laughs> but I appreciate that you're keeping it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, are any of you guys going to see the Game of Thrones Thrones premiere at the cinema? <laughs> no, sadly. I have been I have been doing it for the past two years actually because I've been lucky enough to get tickets somehow uh, I don't remember yeah. how but not this year no no I'm uh, I have uh, when I started uh, school this um, semester I actually got like a three month free subscription card for HBO mm. so I am <laughs> putting them in to use now <laughs> <laughs> very sneaky. Oh yes. Yes. Now uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to the last season of Game of Thrones. Like a lot, I know a lot of people have uh, a lot of issues with it. Like uh, when it comes to uh, abusive women and all of those things. But I mean, in general, I think it's a good show and a good story, yes. and it's interesting. So it I'm is. I'm hyped. I'm ready for it. And Hedesatai says yes. Hello, I'm going to the premiere. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, C. Satori is always also seeing it at the cinema. That's yes. <sighs> Lucia and Ferra the... says, Queen of the North! <laughs> yes. And Frost... I guess that's for uh, Hedessa Tai, maybe. Yeah, probably. And Frost <laughs> says, I almost can't breathe when I start thinking about the premiere. Dragons and blood! <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. It's gonna be great. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, have we been thinking of doing the same thing as we did at the last season? Oh, you mean like do like a recap discussion show thing? Yeah, game of spoilers. Yeah, I think do that could be fun that? actually. Like, yeah. why not? Okay, hmm. we're gonna do game of spoilers. Uh, after. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably be like the day after it's been on on HBO because I don't think we'll be able to stay up late enough to do a game of spoilers like on the same evening oh no 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 it needs to be after yeah a few, maybe a day after a few days after something yeah, but something we're gonna like do that. that yeah yeah also uh are we excited for adventures and game three hour long movie mm, yeah I, I mean like i've kind of fallen off the whole bandwagon so i'm kind of like yay i'm excited about it but also i just saw the last avengers movie so like, I always wait for them to com come out on, you know, Blu-ray or on Netflix or whatever, because Same. I can't really I'm afford going to the cinema. I am definitely going to see it on the cinema, because I've watched basically every Marvel movie at the cinema, and I'm not going to stop now. Hmm. <laughs> good idea. Yes, good idea. At yeah. least one of us will be up to date on the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, also, I think I really like all the three hour long memes. Going yeah. On. And I, yeah, crazy. Frostim says no spoilers, please. But I mean, if we're going to have a game of spoilers thing, it'll be its own separate show. So you only you can choose to watch that if you want to. It won't be a part of the regular cause cast. Yes, it's its own separate show yeah. called Game of Spoilers, where we talk about the last episode of Game of Thrones and all the theories around it. <laughs> Suniva is our resident sport and a theme theme queen. She knows all of the conspiracy theories. Yes, I love conspiracies. <laughs> okay. Uh, no spoilers on the Avengers. Oh, no no spoilers not. on that either. No. Uh, I, I haven't seen the last Avenger movie. So we're no. not alone. I have Cosplay Studio says there will only be six Marvel cosplayers at Odium. Oh, Odeon. Oh, only six? Oh, <laughs> That's shit. quite a lot. <laughs> uh, Rick says that he's so behind on the MCU, so I'm in no rush to see the new ones. Same. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to move on to the next thing. Yes. Uh, the 27th of April, we just want to... Uh, Tell you guys again about Felices Piqueria, which is a cosplay uh, workshop space. I think they're gonna yeah. have an opening party the 27th of April. Uh, cosplay Foreningen is having their year meeting, where there are some spots available for new election, aren't? Yes, aren't there? Uh, my seat is up for election. I will be running again, which reminds me, I have to 
I have to remember to do that <laughs> to actually <laughs> run again. Uh, <laughs> and uh, also uh, the the role of accountant or you know responsible for the finances and uh, regular uh, board members I think are up for uh, election. So yeah. if you want to be part of the Norwegian Cosplay Association um, and you know help promote cosplay and make events happen in Norway in general, then you should consider uh, signing up uh, for election. Cool. It's a lot of work, uh, but it's also fun. Yeah, you get to meet people a bit closer, and I think it's it's cool. Twenty mm. seventh uh, also is the date of Umicon, which is a convention in Nutoten, uh, close to Oslo, or not call it close to Oslo, but it's yeah, it's uh, yeah, mm. and it's also the international tabletop day. So, are any of you guys playing any tabletop games that day? I am. Yeah, I mean. Uh, there, there's an, a private like international tabletop event that we've been invited to, or I believe, and I hope to be able to go. But it is on the same day as the yearly cosplay association meeting, so I'm just gonna have to wait and see what happens there. Mm. But I hope to go. Yes. Uh, and I think the last piece of news is that we just want to say that the gathering, which is the biggest. Uh, computer LAN thing uh, here in Norway. Uh, the date of that is the 17th, 17th to the 21st of April, uh, which is during Easter, mm -hmm. as it is uh, every year. And the cosplay judges have been announced today. Ah, so who are they? they? They are Beth Canard cosplay, it is a Thai cosplay, and Evian, uh, who is the leader of the cosplay thing at the gathering ah cool i haven't cool. been at the gathering in ages i would actually love to go back there but it's just rarely a good time expenses that so too. yes are any of the people in the chat going to the gathering this year mm -hmm. <laughs> tushleplop says hmm, the master of coin you say actually not so glamorous being master of coin it's more like do you know Bob from accounting? No, me neither. <laughs> uh, That's pretty much true. But don't, I mean, master of coin is like the most important role you could ever have. Like that's what keeps the ship afloat, just saying. And think of Tyrion Lannister. He was master of coin, wasn't yeah. he? Uh, well, yeah, for a while. But um, before that, it was Littlefinger. Oh, that's true. Mm hmm so cool people. Yeah, are, you know, totally. <laughs> and as the tie says, totes not me about going to the gathering. <laughs> totes not. Totally not. <laughs> and Bad Karma Cosplay was um, a mo Beth Kennard's model for her life cast. Ah. Mm -hmm. Probably at the Frederick Star Sci Fi. Yes, I, I would imagine so. Okay, but let's move on because we have a lot of things to do. Yes. Uh, and we're going to talk about Kawaii Con first. Yeah. Because that happened last weekend, and we went. Yes, we did. So, Tomia, mm -hmm. it was your first time at KawaiiCon? Yes. What was your experience like? Oh, well, it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was very windy in Forskrum that day, yes. so it was cold. <laughs> yes. Um, and it was also my first time in Forskrum, so. Mm -hmm. uh, well. I think it was kind of a very, you know, cozy convention. Uh, it was small, obviously, with a lot of people, and it was a nice venue. And of course, I got to see the famed uh, shows that I do, and a lot of good cosplayers who went up on stage and doing their shows and stuff like that. So it was very good. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little bit, you know, I mean, it was a very cozy con. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's what they go for. Yeah. They are the most cozy con in Norway, they say. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, they are very cozy. Uh, I mean, obviously, usually it isn't cold at Kawaii Con, and that's because they usually have their uh, date in August. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. So it's usually a lot n- more pleasant to be outside taking photos and stuff. Whereas this time I nearly froze to death because I had two outdoor shoots and the poor cosplayers who had to stand still and pose in that wind with wigs and things flapping mm-hmm. around like... Ugh. Yeah. But the weather was lovely beyond <coughs> the wind. So it was sunny on Sunday. That's oh, great. Yeah. And I got to do some photo shoots myself with uh, you guys. That yes. was fun. That's true. You got to take some pictures. Yes, I would really like to do that. Mm, it's fun. <laughs> I'm going to edit them soon, too, as soon as I finish up the um, Catwoman sh- uh, photos. Yeah. Mm. And it's going to be Mario and Luigi femme yeah. version photos. It's going to be great. I think, I think we have a few fun shots. Yeah, I think so, too. Yes. <laughs> so, all in all, what did we think of Kawaii Con 8? Well, I mean, to me, I've been there two times before. I think yeah two times and um it's it's it felt the same as it always did I mean like it's small it's cozy you get to see a lot of people that uh, you haven't seen in a while uh they have very good food it's actually one of the better food uh options at conventions because they have cake they have hot food cold food uh drinks because they have like a a cafe that's manned during the convention Mm. uh, because of the venue they're in so I think that's really great, yep, agreed. Uh, especially on a Sunday when everything else is closed. Mm-hmm. So you, you never have to leave the convention area, which I appreciate. Um, and, you know, they always have like a nice uh, art uh, area and their shows are amazing. Although I didn't get to see any of them this year because I was busy doing shoots and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that was kind of, you know, like the drawback this year was that there was a lot of delays yeah. but mm-hmm. we complete i mean i completely understand that because they were over capacity like they added 50 extra tickets because people really wanted to go and and they had a lot of people who had signed up for the cosplay competition and things going on so i completely understand that yeah but and but it, it got a bit you know tiresome to queue for a very long time i agree like uh, they could have been uh, giving out information when you were in that line and in the queue that they were running, you know, 30 to 40 minutes late. Because mm. then you could have time to do other things. Um, but I really appreciate that they actually give everyone in the competition the opportunity to uh, go through their performance before they actually do it in front of a live audience. Yeah. So I think they do everything very, very, very well. Yeah. Um, and they think about the cosplayers, um, which is a very nice mm. thing. Yeah, mm. we can handle a few delays. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and other things we did, we met a lot of lovely people. We met some people that we don't get to see very often, which was very nice. Uh, we didn't attend any panels, but we did a lot of other things as we already talked about. And uh, the cosplay competition was so great. Uh, and this ending stage show was also very great, as we touched a little bit upon. So <laughs> I'm not going to dwell on that any longer, unless there's anything else you want to add. I just want to add that, I, I mean, I've heard rumors about the uh, shows. I, I could have watched the shows on YouTube beforehand, the old shows, but I chose not to because I wanted to have like this um, first time experience mm. without having the other shows uh, to you know interrupt with that experience and i was very impressed at the quality of the content and the performance and the showmanship it was mm. super super awesome i mean they have so much pre-production going into their show like they like they write scripts, they have rehearsal, they make video snippets, they make fake commercials for things. Oh, the commercials <laughs> were so <laughs> funny. I mean, they should send them into TV. Yeah, they, they yeah. were great. They are awesome. And I mean, like, Sofia Ries is like so funny and yes. such a great actor. I mean, she, I, I, and every clip that she was in, she kind of stole the show because she was <laughs> so in character. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I, no, no, she's not in character. She's, she's just being character. herself. <laughs> the character. She yeah. has like morphed into yes. Kachan. Yeah. Um, I know that every single Kava icon is available on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we should try and find the, the Kava icon uh, YouTube channel and post a link. Yeah, we could do that. The news at some point so yeah. people can see. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to the reason we are all here tonight, which is to celebrate our lovely pixie dust cosplay. So <laughs> in honor hat. of that, if you have a party hat, take it on your head right now and let's I have, have a party. Mine I have Dang. mine on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my party hat because I have a wig on and it's really warm already. But It's fine. It's, fine. it's your birthday. Yes. You're allowed to do whatever you want. I can do want. what I want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, it's not my birthday until tomorrow, but because it's a Sunday, whatever, you know. Uh, okay, so... Um... Also, I just have to say, Lucia Ferra said, uh, in regards to my comment on hair and wigs and things flapping, she says, and things flapping, lol, 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 lol. sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, now... Let's move on. Yes. Uh, Tonya, you had some questions. No, yeah. no, no, pictures. You need to show pictures first. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm becoming you, Anita. I'm yes, you are. Pictures. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh no, what's the world coming to? All right, uh, let's see. I do believe that this is the one. Yes, there we go. So the we first... Going... Yes. Yes, the first one is the, the Valeth. The valid one because uh, we did a small uh i asked a few people which costume is your favorite one from pixie dust and uh most people actually said like this is the um shared second place mm -hmm. uh everyone wanted to see your valid a lot of people find your valid to be their favorite one of Aww. course that's um... that's that's that you know that makes me happy because it's an oc so i mean <laughs> yeah and I guess you spent a lot of time last year making this. Yes, I did. She could still be improved, but I, 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 I love her. Let's see. How long did you use? Like on and off, probably three months or so. Yeah. Just, you know, because I had to take things really slow because I was not feeling very well. Um, and there were a lot of things that I hadn't done before. So... Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. Always exciting. Always exciting. I had to cut a wig. I was so terrified of cutting into that beautiful long lace front wig. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the okay. second place. That was the yes. second place. Shared second place. Yes. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. see. The next one is the Sarasan crate. That's the other shared second place. Mm -hmm. A lot of people seem to uh, love your Saris cosplay as their favorite. Hmm. Uh, which is understandable because she is a very strong character and it looks very impressive. Thanks. Like, and also you got a lot of screen time with this one. Yeah, I, I guess I did. I mean, I did take it to uh, to compete at Turukan a few years back and stuff. Uh, you wore it on stage. Yes. With, um, and Spilexpo, it's didn't you? it's probably the most complicated costume I've made so far. Um, so, like, I hadn't made armor before I started doing this. So, uh, I learned a lot making this cosplay. And Rick makes stuff, says, I love that cosplay. I think it's for your, uh, I think it's Sarah's sister. Yeah, it, I think so, too. Yes. Uh, okay, next one. Mimuri Kishida from AKB0048. That was the third place one. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't find a picture with only you as Mimuri, so it's a uh, group photo. But that's uh, okay, because we all look adorable. <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh, well, you guys. You have clothes that fit. Well, yeah, yours was a little bit too big. It's a way too big. <laughs> but you, you did a good job of hiding it. Yes. Yeah, I'm hiding behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and also, so the next photo will be um, the one who got, got the most votes. Yes. Uh, this one. The Arwen. <laughs> People really love your Arvin cosplay. Which is it's weird. my photo! Yay! Yes, it is your photo! Tanya took this photo. I mean, it's really weird because I've only worn her twice. Once to Arthacon and once to GeekCon. The one time that was a thing. 
And then I've never worn it again because the wig is not what it should be. But you have a lot of photos. Photos. Yes, I do have a lot of photos of it. So, I, yeah, I guess people really like it. And it was actually five people saying that this was your Aww. their favorite Thank cost, you. costume. Yeah. I, I like it myself too. It was a lot of work with the embroidery. It took forever. Yeah. So what you're saying is when you get a new wig, if you get a new wig, yeah. you will re wear her? I might. I think I'm I would redo the lower part of the sleeves because I don't like the hem. But mm. uh beyond that I'm pretty happy with it, yes. And Harris Hedesapai is saying the Arwen embroidery is gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Frostheim, dude, that dress is so intricate. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a very intricate uh, dress. Mm. I mean, I cheated a little bit on the on the velvet strap. I just use a ribbon from eBay with a lot of glitter and stuff on it because I just at that point I was done <laughs> so it's like it's this, this is pretty it looks kind of accurate it'll it's fine <laughs> but the I, but, but the sleeves and the neckline on the lavender part of it is all hand embroidered so beautiful thank you um also some honorable mentions of your costumes oh. that people brought up that I didn't find pictures of uh, it's your fem link. Oh yeah, and, and your link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your winter queen. Mm, yeah, uh, and also Kiki from uh, Kiki's Aww. Secret Reserves. So yeah, you have a lot of uh, cool costumes that people like, and people. I really like that people like seem to like different types of cosplay. Mm. So you're not known for only one thing. You're you're known for several. That's that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty mm. cool. But I I guess I just don't have like a specialty beyond the fact that i sew some of them <laughs> you, you sew you i sew i sew okay now yeah. tonya you should take it away okay well i only have the questions i have because you the ma manuscript you sent me doesn't have any questions on it no so. but you yes yes yes, no. I yes i will take my own questions then. yes that's All the right. point <laughs> good so Anita, how long have you been cosplaying now? Uh, yeah, how long has it been? I'm not really sure. 2015, I think? So, 16, 17, 18? Yeah, so it's three or four years? Or was it 2014, maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I think it was like 2014. But the first time we went to Desicon was not in, in 2014. No, that was in 2015, I think. But no, we, that was in 2010. Because oh, you had yeah. you had an art stand. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, before I started cosplaying, I had an art stand um, once, and then I <laughs> never just did it again. I don't remember why, but mm -hmm. uh, I just uh, I guess I fell out of it. Uh, I think the year after was the year you moved to England. Yes, so that's probably why. That's probably why. That mm -hmm. is very, very, very true nice nice so you do cosplay you do coscast what else do you do <laughs> <laughs> uh beyond cosplay and the coscast yeah i don't know uh i don't really have a life beyond making stuff really <laughs> i mean uh i do a lot of stuff for the coscast and i do a lot of stuff for the fateful fumble channel like podcast editing and playing and making you know promo material graphic design pictures things uh a little bit of cosplay photography uh that's pretty much all i have time to do beyond work really <laughs> and sick leave but, yeah and and you're also a member of the uh the thingy the, the cosplay association yes i am the mm -hmm. vice president of the norwegian cosplay association Mm -hmm. uh, but you also, you are also a freelance illustrator. Yes, uh, I kind of put my freelance illustrating career uh, on the shelf for a few years just because I needed some steady income and I wasn't at a place where I was able to do that for myself because I suck at networking and like telling people to hey look at me come buy my stuff because I'm awesome because that always makes me feel super awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm really bad at selling myself. But yeah, um, at this point where I'm at 50% sick leave and it's really hard to get a steady job and I can't work uh, on a regular contract for the company I work for, uh, I've had to go back to freelancing as an illustrator, graphic designer, photographer, whatever. If you want something creative, made, you know, made, drawn, written, whatever, holla because <laughs> uh because i can do it and i need to do it to pay my bills so if you know somebody who needs somebody like me <laughs> hit, a, hit a girl up <laughs> yeah the same is saying in the mm. chat you can get great art from anita from buying her a coffee that's true you can find me on coffee <laughs> <laughs> yes. so if you guys want to help anita by sending her money go to her coffee or you can uh, order but... stuff. Like, I will legit make you things. Like, the <laughs> I art is saying, everyone should spam her coffee tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> because it's your birthday tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> That's true. It is my birthday tomorrow. I turn <laughs> a whopping 31. <laughs> <laughs> and you still look like you're 22. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, did people see the picture of Anita from when she was... Uh, 22 was 22 because she looked like she was 14 <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah yeah i put i put that picture up in my stories yesterday like haha so if i made a game out of this can you guess how old i am in this photo and most i got everything from 10 to 22 <laughs> so some somebody legit out there thought i looked 10 in that photo when i was oh, in yeah. fact 22 <laughs> <laughs> no wonder yeah. i got id'd Every no. day. <laughs> no one do, do you have the picture uh, so we can show it to the people? Uh, I have it on my phone, so I can probably hold it up to my camera so people can see it. <laughs> uh, it, it I mean, it is worth uh, looking at, I think. Let's see. Where are you? There we are. Let's see. Okay. So this is me at 22. <laughs> I look like a baby. <laughs> yes. yes, you look very young. Very young. So, I mean, I don't mind. The... No. It, no. It's fine. <laughs> uh, most people seem to think that 14 would be a fair guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We agree. Such a smooth bean. Smooth bean. Yes. yes. <laughs> Indeed. For those times who knows me very well guessed 18 because that's the year I bought that shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's, that would be the logical answer yes, to that. Yes, uh, I also bought that shirt from the kids department at H&M. <laughs> uh, there you have it. There you have it. Yes. Uh, uh, you have an education in illustration. Yes. What does that have to do? say for your cosplay hobby uh well i mean coming from a background of uh art art history illustration and media science um it kind of helps you with knowing how colors work together how aesthetics work together how proportions work um and it also helps with being able to sketch out patterns or visualizing things in your head and putting it to paper or turning it into something three-dimensional. Uh, and you also get a lot of like historical references uh, that makes it easier for you to kind of understand how certain things are put together or if, if a character has a costume that references a certain era, let's say like a costume that looks a little more Renaissance or medieval or something, it makes it easier to pick up on those little uh, clues. Uh, and also it just makes you, you know, creative because it forces you to make things on deadlines. So uh, even though people have like artistic blocks and creative blocks, sometimes you're kind of taught to just power through it or, okay, put this thing away. If it's not inspiring you, if it's not working, start working on something else and come back to this thing that you were working on at a later point in time and look at it with new eyes. So that whole, like, having to go through processes of being creative and forcing yourself to be creative kind of helps with the cosplay. But I have to say, I did not know how to sew or craft, like, anything three-dimensional before I started with cosplay. Like, I was strictly drawing. That was my thing. Mm. So. so if you were to take uh, another, if you could, if you had, like, no... 
uh, issues with the economy or time or whatever. What type of education would you take today? Ooh, that's a tough one. Okay. Um, if I understood numbers and coding and things, I might have gone for a degree in computer science and like taught myself how to do coding and archive creation and things like that because that's where the money's at. But if I were to follow one of my other passions in life, I think I might have gone for psychology because I think uh, the human mind is very fascinating. And because I've been struggling with like mental health issues for a big deal of my life, I'm gotten very much into teaching myself as much as I can about psychology and how to treat myself and how to recognize symptoms and things like that. And it's just, it's really fascinating. I like it. And I like to yeah. read. And you have to read a lot if you're going to study psychology. So that's true. And I like to talk. Mm. <laughs> well, psychology would be a lot of listening. Well, either. I'm yeah. good at listening too. Yes. You... <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at listening. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you, you can teach yourself to become a good listener. It's fine. Yeah. Step one, shut up. Yes. <laughs> Step two, don't think about the thing that you want to say when someone else is done talking. <laughs> yes. First time says, how is Anita not a teacher? Why would I be a teacher? Because I... you're so good at talking about uh, what... She wrote that when you talked about the illustrator part. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know. Maybe because I have imposter syndrome. Like, whatever I do, what, however much I teach myself, I don't ever feel like I'm good enough to teach others. Really? Like, if I... Like, even when I do a workshop or a panel, or just something small, I always feel like someone is going to call me out and say that whatever I'm doing is bullshit and that I don't know what I'm doing and that I'm just pretending to be smarter than I am. You know, I've always felt like that. It, it's yeah. uh, to love. Yes, it, very much. Yeah. So... And one more thing. Yeah. Because often... Almost every time as a teacher, you will always meet one or two persons who will really frustrate the crap out of you. Yes, that's true. And I don't like children. <laughs> I've been a teacher and I know that what Tonya says is a fact. <laughs> someone that's just hopeless. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that being a teacher is a bad profession. Uh, I have huge respect for teachers because teachers have taught me everything I know from school and it's a very hard profession to have with and especially if you have students who don't act, appreciate the effort that you're putting in I have the utmost respect for teachers and if I were more secure in myself and who I am I would probably have yeah I could have probably been a good teacher but I just don't know if I have it in me to be a teacher I think you could have been an excellent art teacher. Yeah, you know? maybe, maybe. If, if you won, won uh, if you would have got, gotten the opportunity to work at like a cosplay folkehøyskole, that would be awesome, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think specialized teachers often have it easier than teachers that have all the kids, you know? Yeah, because they're, they're specialized teachers teach something that they love and that the kids they're teaching actually want to learn about usually yes yes um i have considered doing like workshops and uh things for like uh, then cultural school a second if i can get into that program i could teach about cosplay or illustration and art or something like that Ooh. or writing for, for or, that. or writing i guess i don't have a degree in writing but i do love no, it but you're good at it thank you um we do have some other questions for you though Mm -hmm. uh, and some of them are not that serious as these ones, but they're they're just as important. Uh, okay. So what I did is I, I sent messages out for people. <laughs> you've really you've really gone hard on this one. <laughs> You're making me sweat like seriously. <laughs> I was not expecting all of these hard ass questions. <laughs> so uh, I have a few questions from different people that we know. Okay. And I'm gonna start with the one that I have uh, written, N not me personally, but I have in written format. 
So the first one is from from Hedes Tai cosplay. Oh. And it's uh, Anita. What are your top three woman crushes? Oh, okay. Uh, does it have to be real women, or can it be fictional no. characters? Yes, fictional characters. Also, okay. like, what are your female crushes? Okay, I have to think. Um, for the longest time, I had a, a crush on Ava Green. Just because I think she's gorgeous. And she has, like, this goth aesthetic whenever she's on the red carpet. Yeah. And she always wears, like, this dark, smoky eye makeup that makes her eyes, like, pierce into your soul. And I just... There's something that, very, like, draws me in about Ava Green. That sounds just like a crush, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so that's definitely one of them. Um, also, Morrigan from Dragon Age. A uh, big crush on her. Also, again, with the dark, mm, witchy vibes, you know? <laughs> yeah, piercing eyes. Yes. <laughs> Like, I have a type, I guess. <laughs> I, do. I, do. Yeah. I think we just discovered your type. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, third one. Do I have a third female crush? Rick is posting pictures, links to pictures of the women you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, yeah. Mad Moxie from Borderlands also is kind of a crush of mine. Like, I, I like how she's so openly sexual. Yeah. Uh, but also she's really insecure on the inside because she tries to hide where she comes from. Like, she's not proud that she's from a, like, honky-tonk, really crude kind of family. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, just... Because I've always been kind of afraid to openly be sexy or sexual. And I, I just, I like the way that she's like, oh, darling, I don't care. <laughs> Come up and see me sometime, kind of, you know, yeah. that kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think you should be scared of being sexy. No, like, no one yeah. shouldn't. What, you, I mean, you really shouldn't. It's, like, no. perfectly natural. I've just never felt sexy, so it's felt weird to me. So I'm kind of drawn to characters who aren't afraid to be sexy or who are a different kind of than, you know, in-your-face sexy like weird sexy freaky sexy or dark sexy that's kind of my sh my shtick i guess <laughs> also we have a uh, question in the chat from uh, frostheim mm -hmm. who's your favorite drag queen oh that's so hard i love so many of them Ugh. name a few then okay like i think my top three favorite drag queens of all time is uh katya mm -hmm. and bianca del rio and um uh i think the third one is a tie between adora delano and trixie mattel i think my oh no miss cracker miss cracker of course <laughs> it's bianca del rio katya and miss cracker those three are my top three but in no specific order i, I agree but i would add Alyssa edwards oh yeah she's so Alyssa funny edwards will be forever my queen <laughs> back rolls <laughs> Rick is <laughs> posting photos of these two. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, people are really working hard today. Oh yeah. Okay, next question is from uh, uh, Sahara Sara cosplay. Oh. And Yay. she says, Happy birthday, Anita. And thank you for being you, because you are amazing. And I always look forward to meeting you at cons. Oh. I have a question for you. Do you have one convention you really want to go to, but you have not yet been to? Mm, yeah. Um, I I would have really loved to go to um, uh, to MCM in London. Because uh, yeah. that seems like... Because it's just so very different from the type of conventions we have in Norway. It's really big. And it would probably be really exhausting and stressful and stuff. But I would just love to go to a con outside of Norway. So it would be MCM in London or um, one of the American conventions. Any of them, really. But I've heard a lot of good thing about uh, Katsukon. Yeah. So maybe that. Or Gen Con in uh, Indianapolis. Yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted... Or Dragon Con! Dragon Con too. <laughs> All the cons! All the cons! 
Okay, that was a hard question. I know, it's so hard. But that's the thing. I can never really choose like one favorite thing of anything because there are so many things I love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have another question and it's from Stickweeds. Oh. Uh, so what is the best, worst critical failure you have ever had? The best worst critical failure I've ever had, like in RPG terms or in life. <laughs> <laughs> I think life slash cosplay, but whatever comes in mind. Oh wow! Ah, uh, critical failures. Uh... Okay, if we're going to go in life, like mm -hmm. f for reals, for reals, life. Um, my biggest critical failure was. Being in a place mentally where I felt so down and so depressed and like nothing was worth anything anymore. So I, I couldn't pursue illustration. I, that, that was like when I hit rock bottom was when I realized that I can't live off il illustration alone. I can't live off doing my art as a living. So I just stopped doing it and I've been depressed ever since. Yeah. Uh, but it did lead to me finding cosplay together with you guys and creating like I was out of work for like two years and I just figured I'm I have to do something with my time I have to teach myself some new things and do something that's just for me for fun and so I you know that's how the cost cast kind of came to be and how eventually fateful fumble came to be so out of that a huge failure and disappointment in my life something beautiful uh, came into existence, so. Whoa, yeah. that's <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the only thing I could think about and now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yes, I can see you're about to cry. <laughs> the next part of this uh, episode is not gonna make anything better for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've sent you a link. Okay. Open it. And you should open it. I'm just saying that the sound in this is a bit low, you so you should max everything. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, I see it. I will yeah. I will uh do my best to fix this. It might take a, a minute. Yes. A half so, minute. Uh, it's fine. I have several oh. of those links that I'm oh, gonna send okay. you. Cool. Good to know. <laughs> yes. Let's so see just there. So you know what you have in uh in, in in store for you. I'm yeah. going to mute myself so I don't interrupt. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can make this work. People are sending a lot of parts. Oh, <laughs> that's very that's you. very sweet. My uh, part, I love you, Anita. Okay, let's see. Uh, question. Let's see if we can make this happen. I think you need to turn up the sound. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, let's see. My team and I are oh, fuck! In trouble, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to replay this and try to figure out the audio for this. I'm just, yeah, let's see if that works. I'm, and I'm gonna mute my... I can't hear anything uh, because I think the audio is just too low on this. Oh no! It's it's maxed out on the desktop audio thing, so I uh, I just think it's it's not gonna work. But can you hear it yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I can't hear a thing. Oh, no. I could hear it when I was listening to it. Mm. Well, maybe someone else heard it too. Hopefully. I don't think you can hear it in the stream, though. No. 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 Too bad. We oh, tried. We tried. Uh, okay. Because usually that works, but it didn't work out uh, now, so I don't know. And you have your, uh, you know, the... Um, uh, YouTube sound on? Yes. There was, YouTube, the YouTube on sound was on to the max, and uh, the OBS audio was on to the max, so... 
I just yeah. think the audio was too low, probably. Hmm. Maybe. Unfortunately. <laughs> Scritch could not hear it. CC could not hear it. Because you have to do the your desktop sound to be able yeah, to... Yeah, no, but I have the desktop sound on. Hmm. It's. I mean, that's the only reason why we can hear you guys talk in the Yeah, that's why it's on the same, uh, so I'm, I'm just like, hmm, that's weird. Mm. So... Uh... Okay, let's try the next one. Yeah, Let's okay. If this one. If not, then we need to figure something out. Yes, okay. We try this one next. Okay. And before you share it, just see if you can listen to the sounds. Well, I can hear the sound, so that's... Uh, okay, let's see. <sighs> I just hope I can hear it on the other one. Okay. Yeah, no, I can hear this one. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work out. I'm going to max this out and I'm going to mute myself. They cannot hear the sound. But I hear it through your sound, though. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't want to work for some reason. It might be because it's in the wrong display or something. I can try to see if I can use another source for it. Try that. Uh, potentially let's let's we'll try make this work <laughs> let's let's <laughs> try and make this work okay let's see uh if not then it doesn't work and that's fine too uh, i'm just gonna move this uh maybe that'll work um I'm just gonna have to move some uh, things around. And I it's was fine. Okay. As to which of the characters you've created, and all the games that you've played, is uh, closest to you as a person, and uh, which of them is the exact reproduction? And just to make it interesting, you can include characters that I've never seen. Can you guys hear this? Yeah. Okay. I would like to know. Things that you kind of have, like, do you have this one thing on your bucket list, if you will, that you've yet to do and that you really, really want to do? Why, mm -hmm. why do you feel so weird now? Feel like it's got to be legal. Well, uh, <laughs> preferably legal, I suppose. Preferably, preferably. Yeah. So, yeah. What's your one bucket list thing that you really, really want to have done? And you can't say buy the kit too. That's the thing. <laughs> oh yes, we have a question, question actually. Yeah. How, How did you get so beautiful? <laughs> anyway, happy birthday! Mm, I happy hope birthday. you're doing really well. Back to you at the studio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I hope I hope you all uh, I hope you all got that. It was really low. I yeah. Uh, so not optimal. It's I mean I have my audio settings up to the the highest, but it's just but not I picking it up. Do you have your audio on your headset or out in the room? Because I could hear it through your source. Yeah. Hang well, it's it's it is supposed to be in my headset, so hmm. it's it's very weird. Uh. <laughs> But I, I'll, I'll try to see if I can switch the audio. Uh, let's see. Does this help? Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. But now 
now your audio oh, is gone. <laughs> Hi, Anika. Hi, Anika. Happy birthday. Oh. Yeah, no, this isn't working out. Okay. Okay, so that's not working out today. It doesn't want to cooperate. Let's see. Is there something wrong with the stream? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, because it just kind of blacked out on me for a while. <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties. Yes, very much so. Because, I mean, the, the chat just reset for me. So. It's not the Coscast without some technical difficulties. No, that's mm. true, Rick. <laughs> uh, it's a Mariah Carey quote. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, so uh, if you guys didn't catch that, uh, they were very sweet, and uh, Rick wanted to know, out of all my uh, RPG characters, or cosplay characters, I didn't quite catch it, uh, which one was, was the closest to me as a person? Um, Suniva, so do, do you, do you hmm. remember what he asked? Which Anita? Yeah. I can only hear you through the stream and not through the Hangouts. Yeah, I cannot hear you at all through Hangouts. <laughs> wow, okay. What is going on? <laughs> Apparently, this is not happy with me. Like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Um, <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> gremlins, for sure. I mean, I could try to hang up, but that might fuck things up even worse. But should I try that, maybe? And pop back in? You could try. Mm. I don't know. start it if maybe that'll help i don't know Fun times. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Super happy what fun is times. Podcast without technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, do you hear me now? No. I take it that means no. <laughs> 